Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Overtly Mocking Games, OMG! OMG! Uh, this is Michael T. Bradley. <laughs> and J. Wilfred Neville. And we are about ready to round out part one of two of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers, played by Perizing for us. And, uh, yeah, we are, uh, 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 we are the man with the power. What power? The Vave. The Vave. <laughs> the Vave. Vave? <Vave-ay. Vave-ay? laughs> We might go harass some dogs. Who knows? It's all up in the air. It's all exciting. We have Tim Curry leading us along, and uh, I think we're we're ready to go. You ready to jump right into it, Ford? Let's do it. <laughs> how do we? How are we not? Why aren't we going to the happy dog face? I, I mean, know. come on. You it have a like happy dog face on the good. map. Yeah. Okay, but I guess Mosley has a suspect that he's like, sure, come on in and interrogate with us. <laughs> right, cool. I'm sure they'll be illegally detaining the suspect for several days, so we can come <laughs> back. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. The stupid back. pomp and circumstance now, music. Sure. I know, it's great. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Yeah, you borrow Ready? it again. That's it? Missing. That's all he gets. He gets a little bit of yelling at Bye. for... Stealing a, a badge and impersonating a police officer. It's Gabriel's sure kind of exempt from everything, really. Uh, who is this guy anyway? He calls himself Crash. He's been an informant for us before, mostly helping us bust small-time pimps and dealers trying to break in. Oh, so he's not a suspect. He's, he's an informant. Yeah, I guess so. Pushing coke. I don't see why selling Coca-Cola is... I just picture him like, because he looks so forlorn there, I just picture him like sitting at a picnic table pushing some Coke around like in a little circle, you know? Like sad Keanu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just pff, move it forward two inches. you know anyone who's been to these rituals? Look. I can't say nothing. You gotta let me go, man. Crash, do you realize that's a double negative? If you can't say nothing, you can say anything. Plain clothes, like you can fool them. They know I'm here. Got ears all over the city. They know everything. There's one in your drawer. Who are they, Crash? Are they the ones doing the murder? Let me go. Who thought that having Mosley like throw a lasso you know he's like a mime throwing a lasso like who thought that was the way to go yeah i had a teacher that used to be a nun and she would use a similar gesture whenever she lectured <laughs> are you crazy don't make me laugh Jesus, just let me out of here that's not jesus on, that's detective mosley that's gator jesus he's looking at oh 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 all right all right, Detective Mosley, I got an idea. Just run with me here. I'm gonna put on this gator mask. Tell him I didn't say nothing. <laughs> He's pretty useless. Take him back to detain, would you, Tony? Wow, Mosley is pretty useless at his job. Yeah. Like this guy's scared. I will never Whoa. get anything out of him. Like this, they just disappeared <laughs> as soon as they got outside the door. Did you see that? Can I yeah. Get you on yeah. That? That's a magic Damn. door, man. You only keep him for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to let him go. Sorry, it wasn't more exciting. Yeah, for the book, I mean. Maybe he can punch it up some. You know, what do you call that? Fiction. That's it. It certainly is. I'll Slash fiction, you know. <laughs> Sweat beaded on Mosley's upper lip. <laughs> Gabriel could not help but notice that the I'm temperature the was the same. Ciao, baby. I thought he said, I'm going to rub. Ever since you said rub one out in the German-English <laughs> dictionary, I keep hearing that all the time in Gabriel. <laughs> Are we going to go, like, find the crash now? And I mean, Nope, we're just leaving. I think Don't he's care. still entertaining. Yeah, that just meant nothing. Um, oh, good, we're going to go talk to, what's his name, Gaston or whatever again? Or was that his name? It was it was something overly done. I noticed though in uh, in Fallout Four, I was, I was I'm playing that, and right after we did that episode, I met an older black gentleman with a white beard, and his name was Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> I guess video game writers are not 
extremely creative people. <laughs> Several Gabriel and Grand family members. Is is that our family name? Did um, we find that out when talking to Gran? I, don't know. I thought her name was like Ritter or whatever. Did somebody just Knight. really misspell Knight? <laughs> Ooh, that's okay. She's a vampire. She has a Star Trek door on her mausoleum. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Uh, my family's that is pretty sweet. Mine too. As you can see, my name is spelled correctly on my tune. Well, tonight, if there's nothing else. Don't go. I need to talk to you. He's gonna motorboat her. Oh, okay. I can't stop thinking about you. I've been in your thoughts, too. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, I was thinking about push pressing charges. You don't know anything about me. I'm not in a position to get involved. Let me get you in position. But this is different. I think we both know we can't fight it. Oh. I can't fight I this can't feeling. I'm saying this. I have so many obligations. My family is very traditional. You wouldn't understand. Hey, I love Tra tradition. I've mm. seen Fiddler on the Roof a hundred times. Does he think she's it Jewish? We <laughs> live in different worlds. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I know you've got more money than God. Do you think I can? You think that's why I'm saying this? Like, are we really no, supposed to I believe don't. that there's a love interest here? I, I guess. I don't know. George's on Bourbon. I know. See, I knew it. You're crazy about me too. Come back tonight, please. My world. I I'm pretty sure this was was I'm this sorry. was written by two women, right? There's so no it's like, like is this like mind. how fucked not up now. is their worldview that they were like, this is romance, right? Yeah, I don't know. Come by my house tonight, we can sexually harass Grace together. <laughs> There's a big bar of soap on that thing in the foreground. It looks like there's an angel, like, post-bender right there. I, yeah, I can't tell what that's supposed to be. Well, apparently it's an angel draped dramatically over a stone plinth. Oh. Thanks, Nana Narrator. Are we gonna break into her mausoleum? It looks like there's a little, like, open button right to the left of the door. Elevator door button. Yeah. Sixth floor, dead bodies, going down. A Ladies lingerie. <laughs> down to gaze at something unseen. Something unseen. He's looking at that like massive bubonic plague over there. Carved into the stone below the name of the deceased. Which is what? What's his name? Not important. It was Henry not important to the plot. <laughs> <laughs> Sir not appearing in this game. <laughs> God, that's just they just spelled night so badly there. <laughs> Do you think this was originally Gabriel Wright? Sins of the Fathers? <laughs> I don't know. Well talk to Cletus at least. At least say hi to him. Like we spent half an hour interrogating him about snakes and Schottenjaegers yesterday. We don't even acknowledge him. Yeah, He's still sweeping sad. leaves in the exact same spot. I think he doesn't <laughs> actually work there. He just has OCD. <laughs> like he lost his job years ago and just started going to this place and... Yeah, he just shows up every day. Oh good, we're gonna find out more about Voodoo from friggin' Trump who's apparently giving a lecture at Tulane. Are we gonna watch like a two hour lecture on Voodoo here? What is known in the States as Voodoo is actually an amalgamation of African religious systems. Voodoo. That's a really good slide projector, though. I mean, that looks like, you know, I mean, it doesn't look like projected. It looks like an actual drawing up there. It's even higher resolution than the lecturer himself. Yeah. Some of these spirits are elementals. Some relate to specific. It's not a very well attended lecture. Anyway, I'm gonna do my little vaudeville dance routine here now. <laughs> check it, a check it, a check it, a check. Check it, a check it, a check it, a check. Voodoo. Maybe we should go post a personal ad on that bulletin board while we're listening. Maybe. 
This is going to be a very long lecture, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we even here? <laughs> How did we know to go here? Right. Chickity 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 ha. Ha ha, jazz hands. Chickity 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 chickity. I'm a little train. Chickity chickity chickity. Right. The, Grace told us about this. It was the like African. Uh, you know, she was like, "Oh, there's a lecture on African things," and I was like, "I wonder if Getty's gonna be there." Animal toys, mm. sympathetic magic, elemental spirits in the trees, the heavens, the bodies of the sea. Ooh. Africa is believed by many to be the cradle of the universe. Chickity chickity, chickity chickity, chickity chickity. Little train going down the track. Jazz hands. Chickity chickity, chickity chickity, chickity chickity. Do 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 do. I can't, I can't get enough of that. <laughs> I think we're gonna get a lot more of it. <laughs> this is one of those scenes where if we were Mystery Science Theater 3000, we'd go out and do a host segment in the lobby. <laughs> Here's a dead body. <laughs> I took this the day I got my new camera. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> you know, when I hear the phrase being ridden, my mind goes somewhere else. <laughs> this is probably all very important to the plot, but I feel as if, like, we could have skipped this and still figured it out, pretty much. Yeah, I think that's probably true. It's like two-thirds of the pages in the novel Snow Crash. It's just like info dump that is not important. <laughs> you really uh, really like a lot of Neil Stevenson bashing in this uh, commentary <laughs> <laughs> for some reason. Wait, Gede is the name of the Lord of Death? The Loa that's the Lord of Death? No, apparently, yeah, that might have been important. have as much or more power as the more widely worshipped Loa. For instance, a particular tribe might revere highly the Loa, an ancestor who was a legendary hunter. Or Getting that weird echo again. It looks hmm. like there was a guy with a burrow that was supposed to be the <laughs> the Loa of Death. Their priests, hung or gokors. Their priests. Little, little train go down the track and jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> In a voodoo and hound form, you turn into the station. Choo! <laughs> Wow. Hey, it's a baby. Here we go, baby. A pattern of symbols. In each tribe, they are slightly different. Did you notice this one kind of looks like a boob? During ritual conclave, he, I, I have to say, like, he really does have a lot of very fun uh, slides prepared here. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. was not uncommon. You don't really get college lectures fully incorporated into video games anymore the way you used to. <laughs> right, like I remember, you know, I think the first Halo was like the last one that really had a, a good college lecture. In yeah, where we took like a Music Appreciation 101 class. Right, right. Yeah, and you know, it's the other thing you don't really see in video games anymore is reading the phone book. The ritual <laughs> And just randomly calling people. I really miss that. <laughs> like, they call yeah. them sandbox games, right? But you can't really do anything. You can't just read the phone book in yeah. Grand yeah. Theft Auto and then prank call people. This also has a fully interactive background, like in the um, uh, Red Red Faction games. You know, you can take down Tulane University pixel by pixel if you want. Mama Loa is the supreme one. Oh, what the hell? He's jazz hands. Oh, Gabriel's falling asleep. Okay, I'm like, what's what's going on? Oh, I thought he now? was falling asleep. Firelight. Uh oh, are we gonna have another dream Gabriel? sequence? I don't know. What? I can't see. Gabriel, get in. Yeah. Too small for what are we getting in? You must get in, Gabriel. It's not mine. It's too small. Hide, Gabriel. Um, Hide. Freezing? No, no. 
Oh, Let it's the baby out. coffin from Papa Doc oh, Johns. Oh. Oh my God. Sorry. Ooh. Ooh, that was a close one. Well, all right. Really, this is all about Gabriel needs Gabriel sleep. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I think that if your game actually puts your protagonist to sleep, then you should think about editing that section. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. Like, the protagonist falls asleep and the game players are relieved? <laughs> It's a sign you've done something no. wrong. Oh, there's a My lot of shit to click on here. Gabriel. Wow, he really has an aquarium well, built into his into bookshelf? That is dedication there, man. Yeah. How does he even feed those fish? If you figure it out, let me know. <laughs> it's like he just... He Dr. shakes Hardy's the dickens. He probably hollowed out a copy of Snow Crash and filled it with fish food. This is good for nothing else. <laughs> the carved stone head looks African and very old. I'm kind of sad we didn't get the sign for the Greek knight. Uh, that could have come in handy at some other point. So does this guy seriously, like, only teach voodoo? Uh, apparently, and it's not surprising that it's, like, a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, stiff white guy. Exotic fish lend even more color to the cluttered office. These ones are piranhas. I still can't do Nana Narrator's accent. Oh, you think so? You were snoring so loud, I didn't think you'd heard it. I love I watching whoever's playing this game Not cycle through all the different the little icons. Yeah. <laughs> ask him about uh, snakes! Oh. Just not gonna Look ask him about... Toussaint, Toussaint, that was the name of the, the guy at the uh, cemetery. Oh. Yeah, in religious studies. I'm an agnostic, but I find human belief systems fascinating. I specialize in African religions because I grew up there. My father was a... Is it just me or does he kind of look like Stuart I Smalley? When I, I could see that, yeah. I was thinking like, kind of a young Val Kilmer if you parted his hair the uh, different no. way. <laughs> Fine. Tell me about snakes. Snakes! Oh, for God's sake! It's like last time we asked black people about voodoo, now we're going to ask white people about voodoo. White people have a lot to say about voodoo. I guess Magentia was white, too, so we we really just... Oh, man. I've read about them in the papers. I must admit to some interest. I've fapped to a few of them, yes. Voodoo aspect is fake, so I haven't really pursued it. You know, Americans, and especially Hollywood, treats voodoo... They refuse to put seven hours of interrogation on the subject in their films. Uh, I just can't take that seriously. Serpent in the Rainbow would have been much better served if it had like a three-hour lecture in the middle. If the audience had actually fallen asleep. I find it interesting to see the occasional fragment of voodoo practices in the everyday culture of New Orleans. This guy's boring. Yes, snakes! I'm not a zoologist, but I know all I care to about reptiles. Reptiles? They taste like, like robots. Tell me about Saint John's Eve. It's June twenty-third, the feast day of Saint John the Baptist. The June twenty-third has been a sacred day since. The Maybe he's going to tell us what Cabri Saint Claude means. Some worshippers used to roll a flaming wheel do, 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 down a hill. I'll bet he does. Celebrate the sun's descent. Is it one of our conversational the options? I, it, it always, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh here we go. Ooh. Hell yeah. yeah we'll get, oh, so memorize this. Yes, I do. It's a Haitian term, I believe. It's French. And literally translates as goat without horns. As That's in not helpful. A female goat? No, as in a human sacrifice. Ah, uh, there we go. Sacrifices in Rudun are usually the animal variety. Chickens, bulls. Goats. Without horns. If the gods <laughs> demand a goat without horns, it means a human being. 
Couldn't dun, they dun, be a little dun. more direct you about that? About like, why do people? gods always talk in riddles? Well, Are they always, like, communicating through pantomime or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's like, you know, like with Christianity, we've got the sacrificial lamb, right? And I mean, that, you know what that's talking about, even though it's not really a lamb. Do you, do you know anything about animal masks? As I said in my lecture, which I assume you actually listened to, is that animal masks, totems, are... Yeah, you, we covered this, Gabriel. We really, we really have covered this. We have covered this so hardcore. Tell me about Ask him about a shot in Jaeger. If you'd taken notes during my lecture... Ask him if he wants to do a shot of Jaeger. <laughs> have you ever heard of a shot in Jaeger? That is German. I'm he's not... He's not gonna... <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks German. Tell he does. More about human sacrifice. <laughs> Don't say it like that, Gabriel. <laughs> My God. Okay, but now slow it down and sell it a little I'm more. I'm just, I'm just gonna close my eyes. For example, one of the Cape Talkin. Firecracker, firecracker, spoon. If a cock is demanded, we will give it. But if a goat without horns is required for sacrifice, oh, where will we find one? There's one. Oh my god. This is. So. I think this commentary like falls into two categories for us. It's like, one, we're really on top of it because it has to do with sexually harassing random people. <laughs> or two, we're hearing people talk about voodoo. Yep. Himself and human sacrifice are the two specific things we can ask him about. <laughs> oh, they're having the voodoo and sex talk. Where did we go? Oh, we're sitting down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. You tell me anything Are about we gonna this staple that veve to his oh. chest? Interesting. Very interesting. Mind if I copy this? Be my guest. Great. I'll be right back. He's gonna steal it. Then we hear a car door slam. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. You know, this is a you must tell me all about its origin. Actually, I was hoping you tell me. Can you figure out anything about it from the symbols? Well, sir, that's why I want to copy. I want to research the design myself. Each of these symbols in the Vede We're not being very funny. Lower. <laughs> <laughs> We're both just sitting here waiting resignedly for this scene to end. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm just watching those fish, man. <laughs> There's a trash can there we could be rifling through. No, it's really not. It's... I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, you know, is this is this Veve really this mysterious, or does someone who knows how to read Veve's look at it and they would know immediately what it is? Absolutely. But I'm right, wrong. is it like actually a piece of like Gallifreyan and writing? In yeah, in I I looked up when I looked up right. Veve, like all now the images, I'm they kind of look like that. Going. But let's just give him everything. I'm sure whoever wrote the game actually did a very superficial yeah, amount of research. <laughs> oh my God, they obviously read tons and were just like, we have to impart every piece of this information. Nasty stuff. In what way? Let's see. I can't make out much detail in this photograph. <laughs> Except for the corpse, of course. Corpse, Man, it's if a, I had a nickel for every corpse. time I use that qualifier. <laughs> and what little I can see of the ritual paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of certain black voodoo practices. Very rare. I've never witnessed them myself, you understand? Really? Are we gonna ask him if he's had long pig? <laughs> Speaking of euphemisms for humans. Yeah, let's just show him everything we have. Come on, Gabriel, show him snake scale. Okay, Shit, who knows? Show him your junk. Oh, dude. Use the tweezers, his eyebrows are a little out of control. <laughs> Man, I think that was like, honestly though, the most plot progression we've had. Right, we learned a lot. 
but it was so boring. <laughs> dog, dog. Oh, dog. sweet Jesus! Yeah. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it's gonna be just yep, like yep, that yep, for the yep. entire scene. <laughs> Gabriel stands at the door of an old French Quarter residence. The neighborhood is a little shabby. But we can't show you the neighborhood. We did not have the budget for that. <laughs> we gave the animators the week off. The door frame is a beautiful example of traditional New Orleans architecture. Okay, we. This is really not a scene where we have to we look don't on have everything. To this stuff. Yeah. Yes. Who is hey, lady, nice knocker. Yep, 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 yep. Ah. I'm doing an article on you, <laughs> and I heard that you... I am a good Catholic young man. Take your evil influence elsewhere. But I just have a few questions. I can feel the evil eye. Oh, she read her horoscope. Oh, mm, they must be the same sign. Yeah. Oh, God, Parazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do something. Yes. Who is it? I have some fun. This lady does not have short term memory. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I guess we don't have the right thing to talk to her about? Oh, here we go. I've got some great pet supplies. Could you, could you cool it, old doggy? Did he just sexually harass the dog? I think so. Thanks a lot, Castro. <laughs> Man, sure. You just blame the sure. dog. <laughs> you are no <laughs> Wrong house. Never mind. It was Chevy Chase who was the land shark. <laughs> Should have told her you were a burglar if you're gonna steal jokes from sketch comedy shows. <laughs> want to come right, in and well. burgle a few things. At least we went to the dog symbol. I mean, I gotta, I gotta give Perzing credit for that. At least we tried. Oh, are we gonna go watch an entire mass now? <laughs> and the whole thing will also be still in Latin since it's 1993. And then we'll go behind into the narthex or whatever and talk to the priest and be like, "Hey, um, let oh, me yeah. ask you about voodoo." I do not want to listen to Gabriel confess. <laughs> I have abused myself 387 <laughs> times this week. Are we going to look at every flag? It seems oh, like wow. A promotion of the universal harmony eh, At least the chairs are an expected way of asking for donations. We should, <laughs> we should go do the thing where we use the holy water to fix our hair. They like that. Oh. We are. We're going into the little priest chambers. We're going to talk to a priest and be like, hey, now we're going to learn about the Catholic tradition since we've learned <laughs> about the voodoo tradition. Peter was the rock upon the which... Or Paul was the... Yeah, or shit. I can't remember. Oh, we're going to steal a priest's clothing and, and go impersonate one for the old lady, aren't we? Oh, yeah. A freshly starched black priest's shirt. Well, we and stole a police officer's badge. Why not steal a... Right. It's uh, it's less illegal, at least. Yeah. I can't resist black. Is, was that a little play on black him falling for Malia? Yeah, I was wondering. A box Once you go black trench coat, you never go back trench coat. Yeah. Should have got some holy water. I love my hair. <laughs> okay. I'm wondering where that hair gel comes into play today. Well, you never know when a priest's collar will come in handy. You know, that is so true. <laughs> you really do <laughs> never know. I try to live by that. those words of wisdom. <laughs> Oh, he's a sinner, don't you know? <laughs> I think it's weird how this, like, Nolinian accent is very close to Minnesotan accent. A picture of Christ, don't you know? Oh, jeez. 
Oh, it's cold out. You better grab two of those two of those priest robes. <laughs> so we're just gonna rob the church and then leave. Yeah. Wouldn't the organ player notice us? I think that organ music is just in our head. Oh, we're imagining that? Or is not a yeah. narrator playing the organ? Perhaps. None and a narrator can play my organ. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> is that in German? What the hell was <laughs> that? Okay. Shouldn't you put so. on the priest thing before you knock on the door? Yeah, well, he, he doesn't knock first. He just stands there. Creepily. Gabriel is carrying a priest's shirt and collar with. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Do not I think not a narrator was honestly surprised by that. He was like, oh, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> All right. But this is you have to wonder, like, what order they record these things. Yeah. Well, well I like this outfit that. better. Did he, yeah. he stuffed his trench coat in his pocket. Apparently. Trench coat which has an alligator head in the pocket. It's Father McLaughlin to see you. Well, Father, you should be ashamed of your Oh, does he have to put on the use the hair gel first? Yeah, apparently. That's what the hair gel is for. But a priest seeking contributions should take pains to represent the church with respect. Now, are, are we just doing this to get money from her? Uh, oh, hair gel. The jar contains fruit, fruit, hair gel. Eat fruit the whole thing. thing. The things I do for my art. Yeah, art? I think Nana Narrator's a little homophobic. I don't know if it's really art to be stealing from old women. <laughs> it's Father McLaughlin to see you. I see you've taken my advice, Father. I didn't mean to be harsh, but the church is the church. Old well, German women being right, harsh, that can't happen. Right. <laughs> exactly. Come in, Father. Is he gonna maintain that fake Irish accent for this entire scene? Please oh, sure. Seated, Father. A top I mean, of the morning to ye. Now, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about snakes now? <laughs> you happen to have any lucky charms? <laughs> oh, there's some candy. Let's get some candy. Mm. There's an old-fashioned jewelry box on the coffee table. Just pilfer it. What the <laughs> hell? It's an old lady. What's she gonna do? It's so nice of you to invite me in. Oh my god, all the accents being thrown around. Here. I know. It seems like investing in a dialect <laughs> coach may have been worthwhile. <laughs> of course not, Mon Well, Gabriel looks really old sure. like that. Yeah. Normally his hair covers the scar from that time he was scalped. <laughs> yeah, his forehead gets so big there. <laughs> she has a pretty big face, too. So... Tell me about yourself. So, Madame well, Casano is kind of racist, I, I guess, but I don't know. I really wasn't following along there. <laughs> She's definitely xenophobic. Do do? Yeah. yeah. People think I'm just a foolish old woman, but I know the things. But her accent is wandering all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I really thought she was German, but apparently she's Creole? Wait, we're we're are we talking about voodoo people or black people? Because I I really feel like this might be thinly veiled here. <laughs> uh, I think she thinks they're the same. Okay. Well, 
It looks like she's sitting like weirdly hunched over. I did them all. Now tell me about your sexual history. <laughs> yeah, we should just go and interview all of the paranoid old racists in New Orleans. <laughs> this is Skix was talking about his racist grandfather and the jokes that he had. Like, hey, do you have any cannibal jokes, man? <laughs> so essentially, we just have to sift through all of this paranoid, xenophobic bullshit, and that one of the things we ask her about will give us a doo-doo-doo-doo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, snakes. snakes. I've damned a few trouser snakes in my day. <laughs> right, thanks. I put vitamin B12 shots right into my eyeballs. <laughs> I think the longer that this goes on, little bits of his hair should start sticking up. <laughs> little alfalfa. Ding! Yeah. They? They who? You know, the bla- uh, Voodoo. Yeah, we, we, we know. The, yeah, the voodoo people. Yeah, the voodoo people. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Both, both of them, because there tell were two. <laughs> now, don't Laveau. tell us more about Marie Laveau. <laughs> An outsider? The hell? Do you she know think anything about that? We're Mass? black. No, <laughs> I don't know anything about that. The Irish, the the white know, people's black people, or what? <laughs> I don't know. I... No, I don't know anything about that. Baby, black, black voodoo. There we go. Oh, yes, Brace yourselves. Yeah. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Cor means? We already found that out. I think we're just trying to figure out, does she know? Because maybe she, uh... It means don't eat the chili. <laughs> well then, why did you ask me about it, Father? Well, I have a French-English dictionary, so... I'm, I'm just curious now. Looking up Cabri saint -Cor. Goat without horn. All right, yeah. Well, the end. Oh, I guess we just, yeah. Okay, I guess we just stopped right in the <laughs> that, middle of that was uh, abrupt. <laughs> <laughs> interviewing her. I really assumed that we would get to the end of the first day. I guess we'll just start up again in the middle of interviewing um, uh, old racist Casano uh, <laughs> come next time. <laughs> oh, dibs on that band name, by the way. <laughs> Good night, Cleveland. We're old racist Casano. <laughs> Oh boy! Wow, that's uh, yeah. I really hope that um, in the second half of the game, like I get that this is like an interview sort of game, right? But I really hope that in the second half we get a little bit less interviewing about the same four topics. You know? Right. Yeah, that gets uh, a little tiresome. I hope uh, I hope everybody's hanging in there with us and uh, is excited to see what happens in the thrilling conclusion, just like seven episodes down the line. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you can tell us anything about snakes, please write in. Yeah, that's right. We would any really just tell us any old thing tell about us snakes. Anything at all. <laughs> oh God! Until next time, this is Michael T. Bradley and Jay Wilfred Neville, and we are. <laughs>